guys, welcome to New Books, released in March. I have six books this um, month that caught my eye that I really want to put on my TBR or future TBR. And book number one is probably the most popular book right now, and it is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And <laughs> she is quite popular on YouTube for writing The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I'm really excited for this read because I've read three of her books. I haven't read the Hugo book, but I've read three others and I absolutely loved her. She's a really good romance minor. This is a fictional story about a girl who um, is like working pretty hard in life and hanging out at clubs really late and trying to become a singer. And she dreams about singing at the Whiskey of Go-Go and then another band called The Six and a producer has the idea to put them together and make them really famous. So it's a non-fictional story. I think it is being brought out to Netflix, but it sounded really exciting. I don't think I've read like a fiction band story in a while. <laughs> and it's gotten some really good reviews, I think, on the arcs. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, book number two I'm also really excited for. It is Superman by Matt De La Pena. And this comes out March 5th. Oh, and the last book also came out March 5th. And I'm really excited for this because the DC comic line so far, I've loved all of them. I've read Batman, Wonder Woman, and Catwoman. And they're always kind of like these pre-telling before stories of like who they were before. So this story is talking about Clark Kent when he's a bit younger and something that goes wrong in Smallville. He pairs up with Lana Lang to help solve what is like this big disaster that's happening in Smallville. And I'm pretty... <laughs> and I'm excited for this origin story. All the other three books I absolutely loved. I liked Wonder Woman the best, but we'll see how this one goes. Superman is probably, out of all of them, Superman is probably the one I'm most excited for because I like Superman for some reason. I like the classic Clark Kent. <laughs> okay, the next book is called The Island of the Sea by Lisa C. And I'm excited about this one because I've read plenty of Lisa C's books and I absolutely love them. They are usually hard kind of more arduous books for me because there's kind of a lot in them even though they look short they just they seem dense especially if you listen to them on audiobook you you'll think they're kind of they're quite long <laughs> and but she is an excellent writer and she always writes about things that I don't know about um she always writes about China well, well a lot about Chinese but this story I think is a Korean story this book starts on a small Korean island that is owned by Japan, like the Imperial Japan at the time in 30s and 40s and it's about two girls who become divers together and they've known each other since they were really little and they go into this kind of riskier, um, riskier profession with all these other women and they dive together so they have to lean on each other and they just have a very intricate um, story woven line but at the same time they're different because like one of them is from like a family who strongly likes the Japanese imperialism and then the other family is not. So it ends up clashing and how it all works out between friendships and what can kind of divide a friendship. And I'm really excited about these ones. A lot of hers aren't about romance. Sometimes they are a little bit, but I love her, her historical fiction just because it's so different than what I read and she always makes me love the characters. So I'm really excited for this one and it also comes out on March 5th. Book number four, I'm just gonna go about real quick because it was in my winter TBR and it is Sherwood and I believe this comes out on March 12th and it is by Megan Spooner. I love Megan Spooner as a retelling author and this one is a retelling about Maid Marian and Robin Hood is dead and she kind of takes over Robin Hood's job and I'm excited for this one but I'm not gonna go on and on about it because I already did if you want to check out my winter TBR. Book number five is When All is Said and Done by Anne Griffin. Uh, this book comes out March 5th and this is an all-in-one night story. The reason I picked this story or drew it in was because I saw it over and over on a bunch of lists and then on top of it I kind of read this, uh, when I read the synapse it was something I kind of hadn't read before but it's just a story like it all happens at one night and it's a guy named Maurice and he gives five toasts to like uh, the five people who he loved the most, I guess, or means the most in his life. And it also, he talks about his whole life story, I think, in the whole compass of the toast. But the whole thing spans only, I think, one night. So it sounded kind of interesting. And plus it's gotten really good reviews, I think, on the arc so far. So I added this one in. And then the very last book, Queenie by Candace Carty Williams. I believe this also comes out March 5th. And this book is about a girl, I think, in working class London. If I remember right and just a kind of a series of bad events that happened for her but the reason I picked this is the cover is beautiful if you can like see it over here and also I think it's gotten a lot of good reviews um, 
But yeah, she's just facing, I think in the storyline, she's just facing a a breakup and then she kind of stumbles and makes a series of bad decisions. And I think we all can always connect to that. So there's some point in our life where we made like a series of bad decisions. But yeah, those are all the February or the March and book new book releases that are coming out, the ones that just caught my eye and I thought I'd throw them onto my TBR list. And so I thought I'd let you guys know and I got (laughs) and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.